Hello, my name is Maria and welcome to Unsigned. I am a fan of fashion and a fan of styling things to make your clothes feel new and just elevate your self-esteem using fashion and clothing. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to appear slimmer and taller just by using clothes. Alright, so I'm pretty sure almost everybody wants to appear taller or slimmer or maybe both. I'm a 5 foot 8, which is considered quite tall, but I still would like to elevate myself and make myself look more skinny. I don't know why, just because. I'm sure not everybody wants to do that, but if you're one of those people who do, then continue watching. We all have been on that journey of trying to lose weight to be beautiful for some event, uh, but I'm pretty sure that you haven't thought about wearing the right thing to it rather than losing the weight itself, right? I'm gonna talk about some of the tricks you could do and use in your kind of style to change those up and make yourself appear a little bit taller, a little bit slimmer, yeah. First step would be to have a matching shoe to your pants color. So here you can see I am wearing just kind of almost all black uh, with a red beret. And for this I could go either like red, white or black shoes, right? Right here I'm wearing the white combat boots and they kind of break my leg up and you can see where it ends, the shoe ends or where it begins and it's distracting. It visually shortens the leg. Instead of the white combat boot, we choose a black one. The black is not interrupted and it goes all the way to the tippy toes and makes the leg look a little bit longer. If you're thinking of wearing a heel that will make it even longer, as well as making the toe a pointy toe, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Tip number two is having a monochromatic look. So now moving on from the shoe to the pants, they come, they work together, and now I'm gonna continue the same color upward. So monochromatic looks, majority of them make you look much slimmer, much thinner, much taller, just because there is no interruption of the color that when you're going from like up above to down below and back. So your eye does not get stuck on somewhere. It just kind of sees the body as one whole thing, not split sections of clothing. I'm wearing a top with a V neck, which is also a really good thing. It just makes the eye go down and not get stuck somewhere. So if it's a sharp line, your eye goes there, but if it has kind of a slant or some sort of, the eye just continues very smoothly down the body. If you're not feeling that confident and showing your cleavage, like on my top here, it has a lace kind of a thing, uh, so it hides my cleavage, but you still can see the skin showing through it. Also, I'm wearing a coat that kind of elongates me, it hides the breakdown from the from the top to the pant and makes the eye go down as well. And you can see that I've tucked in my shirt a little bit, making my high rise leggings a little bit more visible so the leg itself looks way longer. So if you are a longer torso kind of person, it's a really good way of lengthening your legs. If you already have long legs, then you can wear it either way. <laughs> If you do have those problem areas, then you need to kind of hide them a little bit. So sometimes uh, a great way of hiding, for instance, if your top is heavier and you want to hide your belly, then you can wear a looser top. But to kind of balance it out, you need to wear tighter pant or maybe leggings. Like I'm wearing right here, it's kind of a poncho thing and I am balancing it out by wearing super tight fitting leg leggings. 
Um, it could go the other way around where you have some maybe more voluminous pants and a tight top. So it just depends on what you would like to highlight or hide. You know what I mean? <laughs> Here is another example of that of the white button up shirt with the kind of a tight legging, the same legging. Um, so it's exactly the same thing. Like I'm conscious about my arms showing and my belly region. So this works great for me. I love to have a chunky, great big sweater and then having the leather leggings or maybe just some other kind of type of leggings or tights. Um, but I don't want it to hit me at the fattest, biggest, widest part. I need to make sure to grab enough length to cover to wear I'm comfortable. Outfit um, where it's, you can wear like all loose for instance if you are a fan of it but if everything is loose you might get lost in it and look a little bit shorter or a little bit wider and also like if you have kind of some problem areas that you don't want to show if you're wearing everything tight then you then problem areas will be noticeable so by hiding those problem areas and then showing off your well, good areas uh, then it's your uh, the person will not understand that you have something bad that will be just looking at the bigger picture and not at the detail okay so here is another fun idea about you know having a little few inches to you uh, you can see I'm making myself a top knot yes <laughs> this would actually make you appear a little bit taller um, I know that not everybody's a fan of it but if you are think about it maybe use it a little bit more it's definitely more of a cute look and not really a classy something uh, I do love to wear a top knot, but sometimes it hurts my head too much to wear it that often. Um, but yeah, here you go. Heels. Uh, yeah, we talked about the color of the shoe, now the actual shoe. In order to well, be taller, heels are kind of like a duh idea. But anyways, heels, but particularly either a nude heel that would make your leg seem like it's continuing or the same color as your pant and preferably they should be pointy toe just because the pointy toe kind of gives this illusion of continuation just like we talked about with the uh, v-neck it uh, guides the eye further it doesn't there is no abrupt uh, point it's really easy to the eye to just it just continue Another thing that you need to think about is the length of your pants. For instance, here with the heels, there is an easy way, like your eye just continues down right with the pants and the shoes, but if there is enough, big enough gap between the shoe and the pant, the, well, the skin, it abrupts the eye and you do seem shorter. So what those midi pants, they're like really awkward, like that cuts right in the middle of the calf. So you should stay away from those. A few things. Well, that in particular, the the reason like your eye drops from pant to the leg to the shoe, sorry. And the other one is because the calf is usually quite much thicker part of your leg, and you would like to get those cutoffs either at the knee, which is quite skinny, or the ankle. If your leg is not as curvy, then you can kind of cut it anywhere you want. Um, will not cut it but have the ham anywhere you want and you shouldn't have a problem with that as far as what kind of pants you'd like to look for um, I would suggest a high-rise anything <laughs> just because if you have a high-rise then it's something that goes to your waistline it is generally a thinner part of uh, a body so your eye cuts there right if your your pants are a lower rise then you the eye will automatically go there and see that it's on the thicker part and it will just assume that it's a thicker 
part. <laughs> so if you are wearing something that's high rise, a good fit for it to have either a crop top to end exactly there, or if it's just a sweater like I'm wearing here, uh, then tuck in a part of it. It doesn't have, you don't have to tuck it everything in, uh, but just the, maybe the front. And make sure if you're wearing a kind of a chunkier sweater or just a full sweater, that you tuck in very nice and flat on your stomach, just because if you just like mush it in there, it might seem like you have a, like, a huge tummy underneath like inside the jeans right because all of the sweater is mashed up there so make sure to pay attention to those details uh, check the mirror before you head out Tucking in your blouses or your tops or your sweaters into the high-rise pants will give you really long legs, long, much longer legs. If your legs are shorter and your torso is longer, then having this higher waistline it will actually, you know, use up that torso space and make it seem like it's just leg space. So it's a great way to balance your body like that. So a pant in a darker wash, a higher rise, um, it depends on your figure if you want it to be a little bit looser or a little bit tighter, but the kind of a darker blues or just black in general will slim you down. Um, and make sure, yes, that they're high rise. <laughs> Of course, black color itself. Uh, they, people always say that it is one of the most slimming colors. Sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not. I think it's a lot depending on what you're wearing and how you're wearing it too. Um, but it is one of the slimming colors. I would have to agree with that. <laughs> So here's an example of something of a breakup. Even though we have a monochromatic look, we have a black crop top, we have a leather skirt, and then we have a kind of an over the knee or high boots. What's wrong with that picture? We can see the skin between the skirt and the boots, and that abrupts our vision. To fix it is wear a dark or like the same color, basically tight, underneath that. If you're making, maybe wearing a colorful top, uh, like a dress and then a black boots continue with a black tight or if your boots are a different color then try to find a tight of that color once again makes the aisle look further there's no stopping and, and well it's much warmer too you have a longer coat or jacket or blazer or cardigan the look and the longer the better but make sure to kind of have it above below the butt or even longer once again we're talking about the continuation of the eye kind of not stopping anywhere so if you have a really long coat like the one right here like it's a monochromatic look that we talked about and the really long coat it just gives the eye this really easy line to follow um, it just Pulls everything together and it does there's no abruptions you can see that the high the waistline is there okay that's great and then you can see a really long leg just because we tucked in that sweater here is another look at the longer um, overcoat um, versus a shorter one so here we see a kind of a short jacket blazer right here it has it just adds more cuttings in your outfit but if you wear something that's longer it kind of eliminates a few cut off points if you know what i mean the, so the longer it is the better all right another way of being kind of slimmer is to cinch yourself at the waist with a belt or a belt <laughs> so for instance if you're wearing a volume of sweater uh, then you can just wear a belt on your waistline and that will highlight you, that you have a waistline and that you're not just this bulky thing if for instance you have really skinny legs and you're maybe an apple shape um, then don't do the waistline just because you want to highlight that you your legs and not uh, bring attention towards your waistline but if you do then go for a higher one maybe like an empire waist i think it's called that's right below the breasts so here you can see i'm wearing this guy with a belt it helps to just i'm not over 
hiding it or anything. It just helps to guide the line. It, it just helps to draw the eye to that area and just a little bit, just gather the fabric a little bit tighter. Here's another view of the denim, denim jacket, a really big oversized denim jacket. It helps to highlight the waist there too. So another great way of seeming taller and skinnier is to grab anything with a stripe on the side, like this. Oh, you can see my pink sock. It just automatically makes you look taller, longer. It just, it once again, your eye, the eye is fooling us all the time. So it goes along the line. Sometimes even if you, for instance, the line is black, the eye might think that it's not existing, like the, the side of your body does not exist. Uh, so it is really nice if you, if any part of, of your garment has a line, maybe on the sleeve, maybe on the side here, or the pen itself. And it's in this outfit, for instance, it's a great way of joining kind of the outfit together, just because I do have a white sneaker and it's nicely slowly goes up to the top uh, where I have a white top and I once again noticed that I tucked it in um, just to highlight my high waist and just to make the person look there instead of my wider part um, which is which are the hips. Vertical stripe on the side of the pants is, or side of a shirt or side of a dress is really great especially if it's like this side this like a panel and there's sometimes even dresses that have like a panel and it has this hourglass figure and it is that dress that it just fools the eye so much you cannot believe it uh, sometimes even like the eye thinks that there is nothing here like the panel is the background and oh my gosh then you're golden <laughs> So continuation of the lines and everything. So here we have a dress, vertical lines. Of course, uh, we've heard so much about it. So the vertical lines make your eye go up and down, right? It's, it does not add any volume otherwise. So here I decided to add a belt to cinch my waist a little bit, um, just kind of instead of having just you know your eye go like this having that accent on my waist to show it off um, and in another one i'm actually substituting the shoes a little bit so you can see that even though i'm wearing flats and these ones the fact that they are almost kind of a nude color and the fact that they're pointy and the fact that they have a v kind of cleavage is it that it just makes your eye go just continue and it's amazing amazing this is kind of the most amazing flat that you would want to have if you want to seem taller but don't want to wear heels just because the visual effect of it they kind of fools the eye that it's much longer than it is Another thing that might make you look shorter than you are or smaller is having a really big large bag with you. It just makes you tiny like in comparison. Just make sure to choose a bag that's properly adjusted to your size. Okay, so this one is kind of, well not everybody can have, but if you do like tanning or maybe uh, fake tanning, the darker skin or just kind of a little bit of a tan skin does seem to have like a slimmer effect uh, because all the muscles are more visible. You know how the bodybuilders have competitions and they rub themselves with this bronze color just so they have more definition for the muscles so the judges can see them way better. And this goes for normal people too. We don't have to do that all extra thing but a little bit of color goes a long way. Have a great pair of Sphinx. Yes, you've heard me correctly, having Sphinx or maybe a really nice pair of tights that like compression at the top. There's also some uh, leggings that have great support for the belly. They're sometimes hard to get into, but they do wonders. The way you wear your hair can also add or subtract to your weight. Have you ever seen a video of some of the um, kind of uh, 
I think it's an Asian trend of that girls are wearing their hair like this and then they slide it back and then they have these huge cute cheeks like I do, see? Mm -hmm. Look skinny. Mm -hmm. And then I go look. <laughs> uh, so some people look much thinner when they have their hair down like this and some just if they put all your hair up. So it all depends on the structure of your face. So if you have a rounder face, then get your hair in your face. If and also a square jaw like myself too. If you have like a more of a V shape, if your face is longer, uh, then also put your hair up just because if you do this, then your face will look even more longer. And so it just depends on the shape of your face. I briefly talked about this, but the main concern, like the number one thing that you need to take away from this is don't have items of clothing and on your biggest parts of the body. What I mean by that, if your arms are larger and you don't want to draw attention to them, don't wear a shirt that ends on your thickest part get it even longer or maybe have a kind of a weird line on there so like a v-neck but a different way uh, so a sharp line draws the eye to it if you have bigger thighs then don't wear mini skirts maybe wear knee length skirts or maxi skirts um, just because the knee is the thinnest part and the ankle is the thinnest part of the leg. Uh, for me, a waistline is a really great a way, place to finish anything or start anything. So I love anything waist wasted or anything um, like high waisted pants or crop top, something that will point out my waistline. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found a few tips that were useful if you did then please hit that like button maybe subscribe if you're not already um, give me a little bit of a message if you have anything else to add and i will make sure to add it maybe in a ver ver revision i can't pronounce that word or maybe i can redo the video with your little hints and tips of how to appear taller and skinnier and i'm sorry if this offended anybody i do strive to appear thinner it may be because the society tells me to maybe because of my insecurities uh, but i do feel better when i do these tips maybe some of you by following these tips would have more self-esteem or feel better about yourself and how you look um, everybody's different and not everybody can feel super good about themselves all the time yeah I try to follow these rules quite often and if you have need any kind of outfit inspiration or outfit ideas I post a lot of my outfits on my Instagram page where I do a bunch of challenges if you have any questions you can send me a picture of your outfit and I can uh, help you or say oh that looks awesome or if I would change anything I would let you know uh, so please go ahead don't be frightened I would love to hear from you thank you very much for watching this video I hope you have a great day and yeah stay classy bye